Two most frequently asked questions that I get all of the time are, hey Hussein, I'm a beginner and what I can do with Flutter or hey Hussein, I know Flutter, but what do I do with this knowledge that I have? So yesterday I found this very cool GitHub repo that I decided to share with you guys since I believe that this is a gem of a resource for any aspiring Flutter developer or even developers that are a bit more experienced with Flutter like I am because here you can not only learn about all of the great awesome open source things that people have built using Flutter but also take a look at their code, how they've written things and how they've dealt with engineering problems to then create their awesome projects. So with that said, the actual GitHub repo that I'm talking about is called Open Source Flutter Apps and I'll leave a link down to this in the description below as well. And it's by somebody whose name is, uh, and I'm not going to try to butcher it, but you can see what the name here is. And this is a very awesome repo because what they've done is basically organized a bunch of different cool Flutter projects that people have built under different categories. So you have a bunch of different categories such as business, communication, education, entertainment, and a whole lot more. And there are really good apps that are underneath of these categories. Obviously, the whole repo is not built by one person. These links just refer to other projects that people have built using Flutter. And you could think of this repository as just a point where you can see an index of all of these cool projects. So I've actually gone through all of this list and actually taken a look at some of these apps and found four of the ones that I really like the most. So I'm going to be sharing that with you. So the first app that I want to talk about or the project I should say is called the Flutter UI challenge for flight search. And this is a pretty cool project because it shows you how to build very complicated animations with Flutter, as you can see. And this app is completely built so you can put it on your phone and see how it actually works. I actually run it on a simulator on my computer and the animations were just amazing. So that's why I wanted to show this as well. Um, and this is an excellent app. And this is called the flight search challenge UI and you can find it um, on the actual GitHub as well as you can see here in the travel called flight search. Then there's another app that I really liked and it's called flutter zone underscore block. And as you can see, it's a full stack e-commerce application. So a user by the name of Tejas Badone, as you can see, has basically created a complete Amazon clone using a backend in JavaScript and then a front end in Flutter. And the app does exactly look like Amazon and it supports most of the features of that actual platform as well. So I highly recommend you take a look at this repo if you're somebody looking to learn how to build an e-commerce application, both the front and the back end, and how both of these things link up. Obviously the front end is the part which is built using Flutter. The back end, I believe is written using Node.js and then the database is MongoDB. So this is an excellent project and it's completely open source as well so I highly recommend it and you should take a look at it and as always if you actually find these links valuable and these github repos valuable then it would be great if you could actually leave a star on them since it's going to actually motivate the people that are maintaining these repos to keep improving them. Besides this, there's another one that I found, which was called Flutter Pokédex. I have been a huge Pokemon fan, so when I saw this app, I had to include it. It has a bunch of useful information for all of the different Pokemons that exist, and you can definitely take a look at this. And once again, it's open source as well. And finally, the last app that really intrigued my curiosity was not because of the actual design of this app, but more so the actual idea behind this, and that was that this app basically notifies you and helps you track all of the upcoming launches that the SpaceX company is doing. So I'm a huge fan of just seeing rocket launches and things like that. I always go on YouTube and search for them. So when I saw this app, I was like, yeah, this is a pretty cool concept. You can have an app on your phone, sends you a notification maybe an hour before an actual launch is about to happen. And then maybe you can go on YouTube or take a look at it through the app or something like that if it supports streaming capabilities. So this is an excellent app as well. So these were the four ones that I really liked. As always, links to all of these will be down in the description below. And I feel like that after a point when you become somewhat proficient in Flutter and you've kind of gone ahead and followed some tutorials, I believe for you to get to the next level, you have to actually take a project and then try to add some feature to that. And the best way to do that would be either contributing to an open source project. That's one way you could do it. And if you want a video on how you can make open source contributions, leave a link down below and try to make a video on that. And if that's not possible, then what you can do is maybe just fork these existing repos and then try to maybe change the functionality of the app, do something like that. And this is going to be a good experience for you, not only because one, you're going to understand how to work with a app that has a larger code base and how you can work with 
code that other people might have written and add functionality to that. But I also think this is going to be a good talking point for you in the future when you apply for either freelance projects or actual jobs, because you'll be able to tell them that, hey, not only have I built these projects that I've worked on just by myself, but I also have worked with other people or individuals and collaborated with other people. And that's usually what you do in a programming job to build this awesome project or to build this awesome feature within an app. So with that, that's pretty much for today's video. As always, links to everything will be down in the description below. If you like these videos, then leave a like on the video so that I continue making these type of videos. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And I'll try my best to answer them for you. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning, keep growing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.